Today, we are reviewing the Dry Soon Deluxe Heated 3-Tier Clothes Airer. If you've never come across this concept before, it's pretty simple. It's essentially an airer that's heated. So looking at the airer, it looks like any typical airer that you would find, except within the bars are heating elements. These heating elements give out just enough heat to dry your clothes efficiently without costing too much to run. According to the manufacturer, it costs less than 6p per hour to run the airer, which is substantially less than a tumble dryer. The airer stands at 1.3 meters tall, and when fully open, it has a footprint of about 70 centimeters square. It's pretty easy to put up, as you can see, lightweight, easy to maneuver as well. The programmable heating controls are located on the side of the area, quite close to where the plug and cord can stow away. As I pan around the area, you'll see that there is substantial drying space, around 21 mm in total. The area folds away into a very small space, about 8 cm depth in total when folded. In terms of construction, the area is made out of a lightweight alloy and plastic parts. I would say that you need to be quite careful with the supports for the shelves. Not that they're in any way weak, but you wouldn't want to put too much force onto them. Here you can see the carry handle. It's obviously useful to move the area around when you're hanging clothes, but it also has some clips on the side. The purpose of the clips is to enable you to clip in the sides of the area when you're folding it away for storage so the shelves drop and then the sides fold in and clip into those locations so let's switch this thing on and now we want some heat in those elements so press the left button twice so that h appears then press the right button to put in the number of hours you want it to be on for then to set the area you press the left button again so that the H flashes. That means it is on and working. So that's all good, but what if you want a delay before the area switches on? Well, you can do this by pressing the left button once so that P appears. Set the number of hours of delay you want using the right button, then press the left button again until H reappears. Then set the number of hours you want the area to be on for, and then press the left button again so that P flashes this time, which means the error is on and working with the delay factor. So I'm going to show you now one of the accessories that I bought to go with the error, which is the Dry Soon 6 peg hanger for drying smalls, socks, lingerie, etc. I really like this accessory. It attaches really, really easily. It's just a simple Velcro fasten over a bar and then you've got your pegs ready to go. You can also see me putting on the air of cover, which I think is another really good accessory, which puts a curtain over the air, contains the heat and makes your air work more efficiently. So it saves electricity and time um, when it comes to drying your clothes. Once the cover is over the air, you can see that there is a front door which zips up and allows you access to your clothes. I should also point out that the area cover doubles as a bag so that you can put the area inside it to keep it protected when you store it away. I don't really use it for that purpose, however. So now you can see the area with its cover on and the door open, unzipped, held back at the top of the area with the helpful tie backs. Plenty of drying space as you can see, 21 meters I referred to before, all accessible via that front door. Here we can see the error handle again, this time it is poking through a small cutout in the error cover to allow you to access the handle to maneuver the error as easily as you could do before. So let's give the error a test now. So here I have my basket of washing, fairly full basket, and there everything is hung up, only taking up about half the space on the area. That drying space is pretty impressive in my book. As I pan around with the camera, you can see that my washing is laid out on only one half of the area. It would probably be better to use all the available space, space that washing out, and then you maximize your drying efficiency. So all my clothes are hung, 
all I need to do now is zip up the curtain to make sure that all of that heat stays within the cover, which makes for a more efficient dry time. An additional point I would make here is that the curtain is also very effective at taking the normal eyesore that is an error and making it look a little bit nicer when placed around the house. So the critical question is, does the error work? And if so, where do you buy it from? Well, it really does work. It's really effective. I would, however, recommend that you do follow my advice and spread your washing out across the area, regardless of the size of your load. It will dry quicker and more efficiently. So where to buy this bundle from? Well, I would recommend amazon.co.uk. The links below in the description box should take you directly to the deluxe three tier error on Amazon, the bundle that I purchased, and also the pegs that I purchased as well. Anyway, to conclude, I really do like this product. I think it has revolutionized the way that we attack the washing. The clothes that we have drying around the house are now hidden behind a curtain so we don't have that eyesore and they dry quickly which is really good and it saves us using the tumble dryer. So I do hope you liked this video and found it in some way helpful. Please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will be doing more videos in due course. Thanks again for watching.